Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is Sunday, March 3rd, and I am out here soaking up some sun, hanging out with my kids while well, actually they're playing. And I'm just sitting here on the bench and I'm about to draw. So. Record you? No. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Hello. <laughs> All right. I originally wanted to go to the lake, um, but my kids wanted to go to this park because it has a big field and they can play, you know, with the football and all the balls and things. So I'm just gonna be here. Let me give you guys the view. That's my daughter Chance over there with the red hat. My husband and my other daughter are walking up right there. <laughs> anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to try something different today. I am going to work with just my little travel watercolor palette and my water brush. So let's see what I come up with. So this is what I came up with. Really rough. I mean, I'm not going for accuracy. I was just wanting to draw.
Break over. Come on. So, um, there are a lot of families out here, so it's fine. Um, this is the view. I was that big tree on the left, to the left of me. And just a few trees from the back and the field. You know, the, the trees don't have any leaves and stuff. And the ground is looking very ochre, sap green vibes. So. And there it is. Hey everyone, Oop, let me keep it steady. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I haven't recorded since Sunday that time. Me and my family went to the park on that beautiful day. As you can see, it is a dreary, cloudy day in New York. It literally rained all day yesterday. So today is Wednesday, March 6th. And um, I'm going to Blick, Blick Art Materials. And so, yeah, I don't really need anything. <laughs> but, the, actually I do, but it's not an absolute, an absolute necessity, but I hate to leave behind a sale. So, um, what's on sale is Canson, Canson um, sketchbooks and I want is buy one get one free so I know that my daughter needs one my six-year-old and because um, she likes to draw and she's out of available sketchbooks so I like to give her um, big ones like the Canson ones and you know they're spiral bound so she doesn't have a bunch of random papers everywhere. We keep all her art, her art, her writings in a book. So that's what I'm here for. And I do need like five neo colors, but that's minimal. They're like two bucks or two fifty each. So that shouldn't be too expensive. And yeah, and we'll see. What other shenanigans I can get into? Let's go.
one I got. So we're doing a mini haul in the car, in the Blix parking lot. <laughs> okay, so here goes the sketchy, sketchy books that I got. We all know what those look like. Got two, bought one, got one free. I needed to re-up on my favorite Tombow marker, um, which is 076. So I got that. And I oh I got two things that I really wanted to try. I wanted to try these Ecoline liquid watercolors. So I got this one, which is like a light green, and which is a pastel green, actually. And this one, which is a pastel pink. So um, we'll see how, how these go. I've never, I mean, they're liquid water, they're watercolors in a bottle. So that should be interesting. Um, I've, get, I've been um, revisiting my watercolors so that should be fun to see i didn't want to get a whole bunch i just wanted to get two to see if i actually like using them um and then i got some random neo color twos that i wanted this one i needed a new one of because the gray i really like it and my old one is all broken up in little bits so and then I got this canary yellow that I've always wanted to get. And then I got dark green. And then I got burnt sienna. I already have raw sienna, which I love that color in Neo Color too. So I, I decided to get the burnt sienna. And that's it. Not a very, you know, big haul, but, you know, I really came for the buy one, get one free. Seriously. And I knew that I needed that Tombow marker because that is something that I always, that color in Tombow is something that I always reach for. I really like it. So I just wanted to get that. And sorry that I'm moving the camera all crazy. Um, anyway. So, on my way back home. I think I wanna eat something though, what time is it? It's 11.08. Nah, I'll pass on eating anything right now. Let me just get my ass home and um, work on a project I wanted to work on. All right. So, I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today is Thursday, March 7th. <clears throat> and I didn't really, yesterday we went to Blick, right? Um, but after that, I didn't really do anything else art related. green tea I didn't really yeah I didn't really do anything art related except I did do a quick sketch from um, a photo I had let me show you the quick sketch I haven't colored it in or anything I plan on using neo color twos and some pencils on this um yeah it's a just a cafe outdoor cafe um but that's all i did yesterday so here we are today thursday and i know that i showed you guys quickly the things that i got from blick yesterday but there are also some other things that i i got um that are art related um, that I got earlier, like last week, that I didn't share with you guys. And I'll do so right now. Okay. 
So last week I got these. Yes. Okay. I've been dying to get these. I do have Karen Dosh, their other watercolor line. Um, and they're really good. Um, but these are, I believe those are more like student grade, if you will. But these are professional artists, watercolor pencils by Karen Dosh. I was gonna call them Sharon Dosh. Um, Karen Dosh. And this is the basic set of 12. As you might imagine, pricey. 30 some odd dollars for this box. I think it was cheaper. It could have been cheaper elsewhere, but I got it from Michaels and Michaels usually online. Michaels will usually hike up the price of things like this um and they're they come it's like a marketplace on michael's for art supplies if it's something that they don't really necessarily they don't sell they'll they'll still have it on their site but it you can see that it's really coming from blick or it's really coming from another art supply place so anyway so this was hiked up a little bit I believe because I, I think I could have got it and gotten it cheaper on Amazon or even at Blick themselves um, but nevertheless it's fine I got these and I've already used them and swatched them so here are the swatches I didn't write the names down because it's kind of self-explanatory here um, but I did scribble um, them and then um, I wet them and then scribbled on top and I really like the let me show you closer I really like them they're very bold and the color payoff is really really great and yes they are better than the Supra the Karen Dosh here's one Supra color soft these pencils, they're, these are good and I love them and I use them to death. Um, but the museum, these, these, the museum, they're called Museum Aquarelle. These are better. <laughs> these are better. <laughs> so, um, and that's all I'll say on that. So I got that and um, maybe I'll do a review um, in another video, but I wanted to show you that and um, something I got on Amazon, which I didn't even really open the package yet, but these Ecoline, this set of five brush pens, and this set is green blue. It has a bunch of green and blue colors in. I'll show you really quickly the color cap the cap so you can see although the caps are not really indicative of the true color that comes out but you'll have an idea this set is like all blues and greens and here it is so that's cool because um, my other eco line set that I got I believe it was like a blush like set um I had pink beige and all these like neutral blushy colors which is really beautiful um so I got that and I got another one of these things to use with my pan pastels because I really love using them um you know for backgrounds and details at the end of my illustrations some illustrations and what else did I get? There's one more thing. And I got some oh, five by seven um, photo paper because I want to start offering, I'm doing a whole like relaunch of my, my website shop. 
and there are things on there right now that you can purchase but i plan on adding removing those things and adding you know a fresh new batch of art and i want to offer five by seven so i bought this paper for that i already have um eight by ten paper and i also want to offer limited edition 11 by 17s which i'm not sure if i would print those myself or use a vendor i'm currently going to test a vendor i sent away for like a sample no um no 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 i sent away for a sample from sticker mule because i also want to offer stickers um so they offer um a sample pack on their website for a dollar and they send you different samples of their stickers so you know what they look like and um you know you can go from there and if you want to place your order you know upload your file and all that good stuff so i want to offer stickers as well but getting back to the 11 by 17 limited um prints i'm looking at a vendor called print keg um they seem to be very reasonably priced and i got them i got the referral from them from another artist who who um, offers prints of their of their art. And, you know, I've heard really good things about them, um, their quality and turnaround times. So I'm going to see, I can print 11 by 17 on my printer, but I'm going, I don't know if I want to <laughs> because that takes up a lot of ink. So I might get the 11 by 17s from a vendor and print the other sizes myself. Um, definitely get the stickers from a vendor because I don't have a cre Cricut, a Cricut machine. And honestly, I just don't wanna be bothered with all the techie stuff. Um, you know, I got enough on my plate um, working in Photoshop and Illustrator and Procreate. And sometimes it's, it's a lot. Um, you know, the technical side of being an artist when all I want to do is draw, but I'm a one woman show. So I have to do the techie and the businessy things too. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, just balance that out. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm happy to be doing what I love. Anyway, so that's what I have going on. I got a few new things, not very much. And, you know, I'm trying to do some things with my business and, you know, and offer prints and things like that. So, yeah. Um, next, you'll probably see me um, continue on with working on that sketch that I just showed you of the outdoor cafe. All right. See you guys later.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today is Friday, March 8th. And yesterday's clip that you were watching, I was working on, it was a time, it should be a time lapse. Um, that's what I plan on making it. Um, a time lapse of me working on this cafe scene, right? Well, the way that I ended the video with the way that it the this piece was um isn't really how it actually ended up because after i started filming stopped filming and i was looking at it and i'm sure artists other artists out there know and do this all the time i was like i don't like this i need to add more and i need to do this and i need to do that so the real piece ended this way this is it oh i hope it's focusing is it focusing not on my face all right i hope it's focusing on the art yes okay so yes that is how it turned out i added this moon over here and i just added a whole bunch of other little details i added these little people here sitting having coffee more tables and chairs I made, I made like some cobblestone over here. <laughs> um, just other details that I added that were not in the original piece. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is how it really turned out. And um, so that, yeah, after that, um, what did I do? I did, you know, some like house things, some mom things. And then I sat at my desk in the evening of course wanting to draw but not knowing what to draw so and i've been wanting to draw from life um i'm still apprehensive about drawing people from life like going out and like sitting in a cafe or wherever in a park and draw the people because they're moving and i'm not really i'm not there yet i'm not saying that i would never do it it's just that i'm not there yet so anyway i just decided to draw what was in front of me on my desk and so i drew this and this is what is in front of me on my desk <laughs> so the plants um you know, obviously, you know, for illustrative purposes, there, you know, things are not exactly how it is, but this, my plant is there. This little guy, well, girl, this is, I forgot her name, but she's from Scooby-Doo. And my daughter gave it to me. And um, she is, she was in a Happy Meal, a McDonald's Happy Meal, so. She gave it to me and she's from Scooby-Doo. I forgot if it's, it's not Daphne, it's Vil Wilma, Vilma, Velma. Anywho, so the character from Scooby-Doo, you know, a little spray bottle, you know, my brushes. This is not, this is supposed to be a bottle of wine that I had wanted to drink last night. It's actually not there because my desk is situated at a window. Um, so yeah, this is my gouache, my Neo pastels, my water jars, my trusty art graph and water pen here and my colored pencils. So yeah, just a little tour of my desk. Maybe I'll turn. So yeah, here it is my desk the view outside my window um my water right there dirty of course have to change the water so my colored pencils one plant another plant i didn't draw the snake plant because i didn't have enough room on the page but my gouache palettes were here brushes those i don't think i drew um but, you know, basically, I drew what I could fit in, um, what I can. And it was kind of fun to just draw what's in front of me. And so that was that. That was done in all graphite. 
Um, I've had a thing with my graphite pencils lately. I've been using them a lot, which is good. Um, and I just, <clears throat> I just um, did a drawing session with Beth Spencer of Introvert Drawing Club. And um, I'm a member of her sub stack. And we were doing animal portraits, um, anthropomorphic um, drawings uh, where we combine people and animals. And so this is what I did today, just now. Literally just got off the Zoom. And let's show you what else. And I was using graphite, but um, then I added, you know, some color to it because I'm so used to, you know, using a whole bunch of colors that you know, I have to do something. And that's why I think I've been using my graphite so much because I get overwhelmed with color picking. So I was like, I'm just going to use graphite because I don't feel like being stressed out. I want to have a nice slow day um, today. So, oh yeah, this is the last set. And yep. So I'm I'm really happy with how they came out. Everybody's drawings were so good and creative. I really love a good drawing session where I feel like, you know, my drawings were not were far from perfect, but went where I feel like I, you know, I did good, you know? Um, because I know I went to a last another drawing session. And I guess it's just like the state of mind that you're in, um, what you're going through. And well, at least for me, you know, um, I did a, the last drawing session Beth had was pictures of people hugging, like a hugs. And I just couldn't, like my pictures came out so horrible. And um, yeah, I didn't even share or anything like that. Um, but um, it was, I was not having a good day that day. So I know that. And you know, that when you're not feeling it, it you know, it comes out in your, in your art. So one, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is a piece that I worked on, um, on mixed media paper on some Strathmore mixed media paper. And this was the outcome. I think I posted this on my Instagram, right? But you, you know, um, I wanted to kind of, I wanted to make it digital. So I brought it into my Procreate. I've been scanning a lot of my work and bringing it into Photoshop and Procreate in order to make prints, you know, clean them up. Um, like I said before, I'm trying to gather some artwork to relaunch some prints in on my website. So anyway, um, I brought that picture of the dog into Procreate and here it is. This is what it looks like in Procreate. And I think it looks good. You know, I cleaned it up a little bit. That's a little blurry. I cleaned it up a bit and um, filled in some gaps here and there, you know, um, saturated the colors a little bit more so that, that I can turn this into a print. And when I print my stuff out, I'm gonna test some. Um, I'll probably film it and show you guys. Uh, yeah, so I did that one and I scanned um, a sketchbook spread that I had recently did. I posted this on Instagram and it got a lot of wonderful feedback. So I decided it was a spread, you know? Um, so I didn't really know. I used Photoshop to, to merge the photos together because there is a way you can do that in Photoshop. They have a function specifically to merge two photos together. And I did that and then um, 
I'm just more comfortable with Procreate when it comes to brushes and using pencils and you know so then I kind of you know I used I color matched and kind of blended the seam of the sketchbook in the middle and I think it came out really good this is another one that I do want to make a, a digital print of but I just want to see how it comes out first um I'll show you what it looks like in the sketchbook it basically looks the same um, I want to see how it comes out first because I need to print I'm gonna need to print that on I think 11 by 14 or 11 by 17 paper this is the sketchbook spread here so yeah so um, I'm doing that, scanning in things from my sketchbooks or work I do on paper and just choosing which ones I think are print worthy, you know? Um, and I think that one is, and I think the one with the dog is as well. Also this one, this one is definitely print worthy to me. Um, I love interiors and I love bold, colored interiors so this one i'm making into a print as well um and i think i said this before but i'm gonna have like five by seven eight by tens and limited um 11 by 17s depending on how much those cost me um yeah so that's it that's it for now um I don't know if I'm ending the day here, but I'll see you in the next clip.